right, it's time to put some finish on this. And I'm gonna put on uh, spray lacquer. Um, the stuff dries real fast and that's the bonus here. going to let that continue to turn and dry and then I'll come in and I'll hopefully do another one or two coats. All right, time for another coat. Again, I'm going to let this turn for a while and then I'll shut it down and let it dry. After it's all dry, I will be sanding it out to probably 3000 grit, lightly sanding it and then buffing it back to a shine. All right, I've got multiple coats of lacquer on and now I'm going to sand it uh, to probably 5,000 grit, and then I am going to polish it. All right, I'm ready to start buffing it out. I've sanded it to 5,000 grit, and uh, I've got some 3M rubbing compound, automotive rubbing compound, and that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm going to use my Bauer uh, buffing pad. I'm going to keep this at a slow speed. We'll rub it on first. This stuff is actually quite expensive. I've had it since I did the big river table I made for um, Rex Hospital in Holly Springs, North Carolina. All right, I've got it coated. Well, a little bit more down here. There we go. And I'm gonna keep the speed quite slow. Looks and feels pretty darn good. I'm going to do the next step. Okay, now I'm going to use the uh, next step, and I'm also going to use the next step 
I'm also going to use the next step in the in the the pads. I can move from the 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 uh, kind of the salmon color pad to the blue pad, and I'm going to use the next step in um, in the compound. We'll get that on there. I'm going to wet this down a little bit. Again, I'm going to put some on the pad. And I'm going to work it on before I start it. Okay, let's do the And again, the finish feels, <laughs> feels amazing. All right. And I got one more step to do. All right, so my last step is going to be Wizard's Shine Master Polish and Seal It. First thing I got to do is give it a good shake. And I got to change my pad out to the black pad. And this one gets the good buff. All right, I've got some of the polish on there. I'm going to work it onto the piece. Wow, all I can say, I, I, yeah, I can't say wow enough. Just wow. Uh, that did an amazing job. All right. Wow, wow. Okay, so um, this is the first time I've used this product on a, uh, of course, it would have to be on a painted surface, unsealed, and uh, it, it really, it, did an amazing job so next thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to have to wrap this thing in my stretch plastic because i got to put my um i got to put on my uh steady rest to finish hollowing it i don't think i have to do very much at all because it would really break my heart to go through the side of this after uh, all i've done honestly it was about an inch thick uh, when I put it back on the lathe and I took quite a bit off on the outside so I actually might not have to do any hollowing at all but um, I've got some other steps I need to do I'm gonna take this top part off and I still have to make a segmented ring for the top that's gonna go on there so Wow again just Wow <laughs> I like it all right I'm gonna hollow it out just a little bit
All right. It's time to separate this from the tenon. I gotta say, out of all of this, this is probably the most nerve-wracking part because you can take a piece that you've spent a lot of time on and destroy it just like that. Okay. I'm gonna finish the rest of that with a saw. Okay, I'm gonna sand the bottom up. And uh, that'll be about it. I'll be right back. All right, so let's unwrap this thing. We get a final look at it. And there it is, in all its glory. Pull this back. All right, here it is. I will tell you, using the 3M polishing compounds uh, really did the trick. I put, I don't know, it was at least 10 coats of lacquer on there, a gloss lacquer, but then I sanded it afterwards to about 600 grit. And after that, I, uh, I polished it out with uh, 3M uh, auto body rubbing compounds and then used Wizards. Um, polish on top of that and I am very very happy with the results this uh, I mean it really <laughs> almost feels like a, a car door honestly the the car finish but uh, yeah I'm very very pleased and I got my my topper on there all right thank you all for watching please if you think you've gotten anything out of this click like and subscribe let me comment tell me what you think um, I'd love to know. I will answer every single one. And everybody, please stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.